Peace, and welcome to another oddly familiar episode. Today, we have number 93. And if you have watched any of the previous episodes, then you might know about our oddly scale of familiarity, in which we have now dubbed the Yamamoto Scale, a scale ranking how similar the two songs are. One being the lowest, where a song isn't really similar at all, and up to five, where they're almost exact. Anyway, here's episode 93 of Oddly Familiar. Our first up is a song from Universal Production Music, and it's titled Cadmium Sky. And that sure sounds a lot like the concept of love, the concept of passion mix from Ollie King. Released on September 12, 2005, the Universal Production album is titled Poptronica, a bubbly mix of electronica and pop. Ollie King was released over a year prior, in March of 2004. So what we have here is a reverse oddly. The video game came out before the album. To me, it raises a question. Was that a demo beat on a certain keyboard, or was Cadmium Sky heavily influenced by the Hideki Naganuma track? I first found it used as background music in a documentary, but Shazam didn't find anything. Then I used some AI to strip the narrator's voice from the documentary, then tried Shazam again, and luckily that worked. So it was an interesting find to say the least. On the Kenji Yamamoto scale of oddly familiarity, this one gets a 5 out of 5. Maybe it's a sample, or maybe it's a preset. Either way, it's quite similar. Our next up is from Excalibur 2097, a game on the Super Nintendo, and the theme is dubbed Silicon Jesus, Break the Screen Mix. And that sure sounds like 2 Unlimited and their song titled Twilight Zone. Excalibur 2097 soundtrack features music by the American techno group Psychosonic from Minneapolis, Minnesota. They were active from 1992 to 1997. This theme, Silicon Jesus Break the Screen Mix, is a rendition of the song of the same name by Psychosonic. <laughs> So Silicon Jesus could be influenced by Twilight Zone, or it could be influenced by the Lords of Acid song, Take Control. There's three techno slash dance songs that sound a little bit similar. The first was from Lords of Acid in 1991, then second from 2 Unlimited in 1992, and third from Psychosonic in 1993. Then of course the video game rendition in 1994. On the Yamamoto scale, of course the SNES theme and the Psychosonic song get a 5 out of 5. It's just a chiptune rendition after all. I hear a lot of people say the 2 Unlimited track sounds a lot like Mortal Kombat. In an interesting twist, Psychosonic did work on a few different Mortal Kombat soundtracks. Although not that popular theme everyone is thinking of. Also, quick shout out to Ruben Medina for the submission. It's always appreciated. In at number eight, we have the Dream Phone theme by Bootsy and featuring Samantha. That's good old Elec Man from Mega Man. So 
So I noticed this one while watching the Dream Phone episode by Bor James, also known as the AVGN. He played this song in the episode, and I couldn't help but hear a like me. And by the way, this is not a real Dream Phone theme. Bootsy, James's friend, wrote this just for the episode. If you pull up Dream Phone commercials that aired on TV, you will not hear this song. Who, who, who's got a crush on you? Hello, hunks. It's Dream Phone, the electronic game with the talking phone. To win cool guys, get clues, figure out which guy really likes you. I found a commentary video where they talk about the track just a little bit. And that song, which Bootsy composed here, is so uh, authentic. It really sounds like it's from the 80s. <laughs> I was telling Mike, I, I wasn't, this is the only one I don't sing that I, uh, you know, created for your videos and I got my friend Samantha to sing it because I thought it'd be more legit to have a, obviously a girl singing about a girl's yeah. board game. He doesn't mention Elect Man, so that could just be a coincidence. Especially once you consider we have found over 100 songs that have that Elect Man riff. We'll give this one a 4 out of 5. It is just a small portion, but that's Elect Man. In at lucky number seven, here's Cross Weber, Cyber Combat Police, Chapter Eight. And that could just be inspired by James Bond. Submitted by Good Vibe Collecting, I do gotta agree. That sure sounds like Bond to me. Cross Weber Cyber Combat Police was released on the PC Engine in 1990, almost 40 years after the first official Eon Bond movie in 1963. On our Yamamoto scale, we give it a 4 out of 5. Kind of like the Elect Man theme, those four notes are pretty popular. Next up is another submission from Good Vibe, and it comes from Chrono Cross. It's titled, Magical Dreamers. And that has a little bit of a Top Gun feel to it. On the Yamamoto scale, we have this a three out of five. The combo of electric guitar, and slow anthem type feel gives it the same vibe. The Chrono Cross soundtrack was arranged and composed by Yasunori Mitsuda, and it was released in 1999. The Top Gun theme can be found in the original 1986 movie, as well as a new rendition in the 2022 sequel. Arranged and composed by Harold Faltermeyer, with the electric guitar being played by Steve Stevens. <laughs> Our number five entry was submitted by Quantum X. He heard this comparison made during a review of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It's titled, Ready to Go. And here's the intro for the TV show, Perfect Strangers. Airing from 1986 to 1993, a memorable show for me because of Balki. On our Yamamoto scale, we have this a 2 out of 5. It's just a small section, but I can understand how someone would think of Perfect Strangers. The Perfect Strangers theme is by David Pomeranz, a Scientologist from Long Island, New York. His first album was released in 1971, so he's been at it for quite a while. Kirby and the Forgotten Land was released in 2022, and the soundtrack was done by multiple composers. On, the wings of my dream. 
Unlucky number four was submitted by Strawberry Fairy. It comes from Blue Dragon, Bad But Bat, also known as the Lago Village Celebration Theme. And that first little vocal portion sure sounds like Fleetwood Mac and their song Everywhere. On the Yamamoto scale, we give it a 2 out of 5. On the Fleetwood Mac song, she is singing I, as in I want to be with you everywhere. And in the Blue Dragon song, it seems to be more of an ah sound. The soundtrack to Blue Dragon was composed and produced by Nobuo Uematsu, with this song featuring Etsuko Kozakura. She's a very popular voice actor. She debuted in 1991 and has been featured in some classic anime. From Shinchan to Tenchi Muyo to Inuyasha, just to name a few. One of her roles that I'd like to mention, she voiced Dewey in the Japanese dub of the show Malcolm in the Middle. Our next up was submitted by Charles Kilborn, and it comes from Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, a theme used on stages 9 through 12. And here's Kraftwerk, Home Computer. On the Yamamoto scale, this one receives a 3 out of 5. Around the 6 second mark of home computer, that little riff kicks in and it does have the same feel. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine was first released in 1993. And the soundtrack was composed by two people, and back then, they really didn't publish the credits like they do these days. And even these days, some games still only say who did the music. You have to find the soundtrack if you want to see individual track credits. The next entry on our list today was submitted by Scotty the Great One, and it's from Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow, The Last Battle Theme. And here's the Tunnel Chase theme by Brad Fidel from the Terminator soundtrack. If you asked Kenji Yamamoto, I think he would rate this one a 3 out of 5. He might say it's pretty close, but definitely not plagiarism. He also might say it's not enough to get fired, but perhaps there is a little bit of inspiration. Composed by Takashi Yoshida, you may know some of his work. He's more than just a composer. His first game was Splatterhouse 3, where he was one of two artists on the job. Our last entry today comes from Echo the Dolphin on the Sega CD. A theme titled, Welcome to the Machine. And here's a snippet of Tangerine Dream, Alchemy of the Heart. The Yamamoto scale gives this one a 3 out of 5. It's out of my hands. Yamamoto now decides. The Echo CD soundtrack was composed by Spencer Nielsen. I think he did an outstanding job, and it's one of the more underrated scores out there. Released in 1993, six years after Alchemy of the Heart in 1987. Tangerine Dream is a German electronic band founded in 1967. They are a pioneer in electronic music, so it's really no surprise they have had some influence in video games.
So there you have episode 93. But before we go, we must give a shout out to Golden Tier patrons Persona, Quantum X, MJJ, and Shadow Just. I am ICC. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.